Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Free Reading Room Tales for Tots. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope we all are having a good time uh, playing outside on this, these nice days that we've had, but it's getting colder out, right? And we have a holiday coming up. It's called Thanksgiving. So anyway, we have a lot to celebrate and be thankful for. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Well, my goodness me, it is getting a little cold and nippy out there. You like to have a tea party? I love tea parties, don't you? Oh, sure. And I used to have tea parties with my little stuffed animals, right? Well, Polly's going to have some, <laughs> some tea with her little friends. And there they are. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Whoop! Oh! Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. They've all gone away. Oh, we were just kidding. Well, that's not a very nice joke to play, right? No. So let's do that one again. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. There's Polly. And there's Suki. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. They've all gone away. Now we were just hiding under the table, ha ha. Well, that's not very nice to play tricks like that. Well, with that Thanksgiving coming, I'm going to be cooking a turkey. At least I hope so, but I have to go out and find one. Where will I find one? Out in the woods? I see one hiding over there. Hmm, well, let's see what we've got here. Okay, I've got my cook hat on. I've got my big spoon, okay? Now, I know there are turkeys out there somewhere, but they sort of are camouflage. Yeah, they're camouflage. They can be looking right at them and not see them. And there we are. Oops, we have a big feather there. Oh, five fat turkeys are we. We slept all night in the tree. When the cook came around, we couldn't be found. And that's why we're here. You see, oh, they were hiding on me and I didn't get, I didn't get a chance to see them. Uh-oh, here's this tree that they're sitting in. I've got this thing backwards, I think. There we go. Oh, five fat turkeys are we. We slept all night in a tree. When the cook came around, we couldn't be found. And that's why we're here, you see. Oh, I guess we'll have peanut butter and jelly, huh? I guess so. Peanut butter and jelly for Thanksgiving. My gracious. That's a new one. <laughs> well, I have a book today, and it's called In the Middle of the Fall. What is, what is the fall? It's this time of year when things get cold and the leaves turn from green to, uh, to different colors, right? And this is by and this is by Kevin Hanks. And what do you see on there? You see some letters, middle of the fall, right? And I see a squirrel, and I see some oak leaves, and I see some acorns. And guess who likes acorns? In the middle of fall. So fall has been around for a little while, hasn't it? Sure. Hmm. Look at all those leaves that are blowing around. I see a pumpkin. In the middle of fall, when the leaves have already turned. And the sky is mostly gray and the air is chilly. Oh, it is chilly out today. <clears throat> and the squirrels are frisky. You know why? They're looking for nuts. They're running all over the place. Ah, and the gardens are brown. But who's glad? Look, I see a little mouse. 
He loves the seeds. Yes, he does. And how about the goldfinch bird? Oh, he loves those seeds in that big sunflower. And the pumpkins are ready. Well, they were ready a few weeks ago, I think, right? And the apples are like ornaments. Look at that. <laughs> it takes just one big gust of wind. Woo! And all at once, all at once, woo! Everything is yellow and red and orange. all over, all around. Right in the middle of fall. And look, someone has raked all those leaves in a pile and they can play in them when they're dry. Right, when they're dry, they rake them in a pile and it's fun to play in them. But remember it, because soon, there are all the things that we've just saw Right? Pumpkins and apples and leaves and sunflower seeds. So yeah, the yellow and red and orange will be gone. Be gone. And the sky will change again. And then soon. Very soon, the sky will be white and empty. Look at the squirrel looking out of his little nest there in the tree. Ready to fill up with snow. Look, and that's the, yeah, winter is coming. That's right, winter is coming. Well, Wizzy Wizard, do you have something for us today? I sure do, says Wizzy Wizard. These are tips for our caregivers, okay? Uh, you may notice that uh, sometimes when I read a book, I point to the words in the title or to the words of a repeated phrase. by drawing attention to the text, right? Uh, while saying the words, children will be learning that it is the text I'm reading and not, not the pictures. This helps them develop print awareness. Uh, one of the skills that help them when they learn to read. So print awareness, knowing that that's what we're looking at when we read a story, not just the pictures. <laughs> well, let's see what we've got here. Well, we've got a toy, but I'll tell you what, this is his real, real song. So if you hear that in the woods, you know they're there. The turkey is a funny bird. His head goes wobble, wobble. And all he knows is just one word. And that is gobble, gobble. Can you sing that with me? The turkey is a funny bird. His head goes wobble, wobble. And all he knows is just one word. And that is gobble, gobble. And that's his real song, but they do camouflage themselves right into the, just they're right there, but you can't see them. <laughs> well, my goodness me, those, oh, that wind was sure strong, wasn't it? Wow. <laughs> and could we see the wind? No, but we see what it blew around. I saw some chairs from my neighbors way around their house on the other side. That wind was strong. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. And it sure did pass by yesterday, didn't it? Sure it did, or last night even. So, here we are. Okay. See if you can do it with me. Pretend you're, you're a tree and these are your little leaves. <clears throat> Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, 
The wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, can you bow down your head? The wind is passing by. <laughs> well, the first Thanksgiving day, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Hundreds of years ago, when there were no Europeans here at all, just in Native Americans. And finally a boat came, the Mayflower, and brought the pilgrims. And then the year next year, they had the first Thanksgiving day. And this is a book by uh, Lord Proust Melbourne, first Thanksgiving day. Here's a little pilgrim girl. She's saying thank you. Uh, let's see if we can get this right here. There we go. <clears throat> One dressed in linen, sitting in a tree, dreaming of the tall, strong ship <laughs> which he crossed the sea, on which he crossed the sea. And that's a little pilgrim boy. Two dressed in deerskin, gathering nuts below, giggling as they tiptoe by, too shy to say hello. The two little Indian girls, right? Three in the garden, pulling up some roots, turnips for the pottage pot, and parsnips for the soup. And look at that lovely garden that they have made. And they're pulling up the vegetables, right, for, for their Thanksgiving. Oh, for helping father catch fish in the bay, some to dry for winter time and some to eat today. Yeah, and the Native Americans, they dried fish, and they ate fish. And now how are they gonna cook it? Oh, well, the pilgrims are out there and they know, five in the forest, searching <clears throat> as they roam, finding sticks to light the fire, but, <clears throat> that keeps them warm at home, right? And also cooks their meals, right? Sure. Oh, look at these Indian boys, these, these Native American boys. Six stepping softly with small bows in hand, following a rabbit's tracks, ah, across a patch of sand. And I don't know if you can see him, but there's a little rabbit right there hiding. <laughs> Kevin fetching water, run with pails to fill, and walk home with careful steps, so not a drop will spill. All the pilgrim children, they worked hard. Everybody did. Look at this, all these children. <clears throat> Eight on the sandbar, working in a crew, ah, digging for some tasty clams to make a steaming stew. Now they ate the clams. And here's the Mayflower. There's the ship that the pilgrims came on a year before. Nine in the cornfield, bringing in the maize, sowed with care as Squanto taught last spring on planting days. Yes, Squanto was the Indian who helped the pilgrims um, get through the winter and um, showed them how to plant food that would grow in the United States, here in America. Ah, 10 making baskets by the fire's glow, weaving <clears throat> slender cattail reeds while singing soft and low. There they are in their little uh, holding. And I have a, a Cherokee bag, a basket. See, this is a basket that uh, some Native Americans out in the Midwest um, put together. That's the sort of thing that they have made to carry their nuts and their berries in. <clears throat> Eleven rejoicing in the autumn sun, laughing, shouting, playing tag, their chores at last all done. We have the children playing right before the big Thanksgiving feast. Oh, look at all those tables. And Native Americans 
and they were their family name was Wapanog and the pilgrims. Twelve tables groaning beneath a harvest spread. Wapanog and pilgrim friends together will break bread. Joining under one sky with one prayer to say, a prayer of thanks for all they have is first Thanksgiving Day. Oh my goodness me. They all shared. They all helped each other. And that made a very happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, I have I have a, a little uh, rhyme here <laughs> about someone's dinner, and it's Jack Spratt's dinner. Now, Jack Spratt set his table. Here it is. I don't know if I can do this without checking it. Probably not. Here's his table. And there's a place for his wife and a place for him. And they had, they had a ham. I guess they couldn't find a turkey, could they? No. So here we go. And Jack Spratt was a rather slender fellow. <clears throat> And his wife was a little bit on the chubbier side. There she is. Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so between the both of them, they licked the bladder clean. So here we go. Can you say this with me? Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so between the both of them, they licked the platter clean. I had a big ham. Well, look at this I found hiding in the bushes. I met a turkey gobbler when I went out to play. Oh, Mr. Turkey Gobbler, how are you today? Gobble, gobble, gobble. That I cannot say. Don't ask me such a question on the Thanksgiving day. Well, it's not Thanksgiving yet, but it's near. I met a turkey gobbler when I went out to play. Oh, Mr. Turkey Gobbler, how are you today? Gobble, gobble, gobble. That I cannot say. Don't ask me such a question so near Thanksgiving Day. Okay, you go back and hide. You go back and hide. Well, here is a, this is a, a story, uh, it's a poem, a Thanksgiving poem by Lydia Maria Child. Over the hill, over the bridge, and through the woods. Right, many, many families were on farms hundred years ago. And when my grandpa was a little boy, there were no cars. No one had any cars. There weren't any. There were no trucks. They did, went everything, they did everything by horse and wagon. But the wagon wouldn't go if it snowed on Thanksgiving, right? No. So they had to take out their sleigh. So this is a, and actually it's a song too. So let's sing this song. It's kind of fun. Over the river and through the woods. So let's see if we can do this with minimum of ease here. Over the river and through the wood to grandfather's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through white and drifted snow. Over the river and through the wood, oh how does blow. Those are ice boats. It stings the toes and bites the nose as over the ground we go. It's pretty cold up, up way upstate New York. And that's where he was from. Over the river and through the wood, oh, to have the first rate plan. There they are going over the bridge and over the river, but the river's frozen and the kids are playing on it. Hear the bells ring, 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 ring. Hurrah for Thanksgiving Day. Oh, 
over the river and through the wood, trot fast my dapple gray. That's my horse. Spring over the ground like a hunting hound, for this is Thanksgiving Day. And there they go. Let's see. Let's see, where are they? There they are. They're going there. Over the river and through the wood and straight through the barnyard gate. Here we come. We have seen to go extremely slow. It is so hard to wait. Over the river and through the wood. Now Grandma's cap I spy. There she is, waiting on her porch. Hurrah for the fun. Is a pudding done. Hurrah for the pumpkin pie. Oh, and look, and the family are all gathered around. They came from miles all around the grandma and grandpa's farm, all the children and grandchildren. That's the way the Thanksgivings um, should be. Oh, this Thanksgiving, it might not be quite so, uh, so many people, right? No. Well, I know one thing uh, that we learned as we started planting corn, that some of it, when it fell into the fire, it popped. So how do you make popcorn? Get a big pot, get some fire and some corn kernels. So here we go. Can you do this with me? You pour the oil in the pot and the oil gets hot. You pour the corn in the pot and the corn, what? And the corn goes what? Pop, pop. Pour the oil in the pot and the oil gets hot. You pour the corn in the pot and the corn goes Well, how does it really? Maybe this is, a, are you ready to jump? Is it okay with your nannies or your mommies and daddies or your caregivers, huh? Ask them first. But here, this is a good jumping, a jumping game, okay? So I'm gonna go slowly first, like the cop, popcorn. It just jiggles a little bit. And then as you, it starts popping, then it gets louder and louder. So see if you can jump like a popcorn popper. Maybe hold on to the couch. Here we go. Head goes into the jingle, they come out to the pop. Little kernels popping in the cooking pot. Jingle, 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 pop, 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 pop. They go in with a jingle, they come out with a pop. Little kernels popping in the cooking pot. Jingle, 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 pop, 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 pop. They go in with a jingle, they come out with a pop. Little kernels popping in the cooking Okay, I think that maybe it's time for our bye-bye song. I hope you all have a nice Thanksgiving, and I'll hope to see you next week. Um, so bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>